no animals, like are no humans. And I really think that they are sentient beings, that they have their own uh, wishes, their own, uh, uh, their own life. And in, uh, and in fur farms, they can't have a life like uh, their species, the species we have in, uh, in the wild. Something like that, I think. I, I just think it's ethically wrong. We don't need it. So uh, during these years, I have done the animal rights work. Uh, this is one thing uh, which should be finished like immediately. It's it's wrong for them. If we have only a couple of farms, they have uh, a little bit under uh, 900, and uh, it's quite a lot. It was bigger business in like 10 years ago, as it was bigger business also in Estonia 10 years ago. But most of our Ruotsalainen eduskuntaryhmä tukee turkistuotannon kehittämistä Suomessa. Svenska Riksdagsgruppen Stöner, Urbaklander, Yeah, we are joining together as, uh, to give the petitions to the parliament. We gave our, our petition in November and they have given now. And, uh, but uh, we, but we, have, uh, we have worked together, we have supported uh, each, other, uh, each other's organizations, I think, since uh, 200, uh, 2006. So it's not uh, so it's not something new, but uh, in 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 an official, in the bigger, uh, in a public way, uh, today is the first day, and I, I think this cooperation is going to continue now in uh, in everyday level because we really need it. It's not the question of one country; it's a question of all region and actually all world. I believe uh, Estonia, also Norway and Sweden, and I hope uh, all the other countries as well. Maybe Estonia succeed uh, earlier because we don't have so uh, so big business. But we never know. It's about money, and uh, and uh, we never know what money does to the people. So uh, maybe we can finish. Uh, both countries can finish um, in two, 2025. Maybe I hope so. I hope I see that in my lifetime, or a little bit earlier.